is up, Dallas Cowboys fans? It's Indy Card Tim here with your Dallas Cowboys Daily Blitz for today. It is Monday, August 26th. It is about one, a little after 1 o'clock Central Time on this Monday. And it has finally happened, boys and girls. It is done. The contract extension is done. C.D. Lamb will be available for the Dallas Cowboys come September 8th in the opener against the Cleveland Browns up, up in Cleveland. Uh, it's been a long offseason negotiating. It's been a maddening, frustrating, uh, almost debilitating, if you're a Cowboys fan, offseason. But uh, the first big news for me, <clears throat> anyway, coming out of Cowboys camp, Cowboys preseason, whatever, as Jerry Jones and C.D. Lamb has finally, they have finally agreed to a contract extension per Tom Pelissero of NFL Network. Uh, it is a four-year, $136 million extension with $100 million guaranteed, including a wide receiver record $38 million signing bonus. Uh, it is the second highest paid non-quarterback contract in history, uh, which, you know, all indications were C.D. Lamb wanted to be that guy, right? I don't know that he was asking for Justin Jefferson money and he didn't get it, but that's okay. Uh, He, but he did want to be up there and whatever the holdup was, we've heard that it was just literally $2 million uh, per year on the, uh, the difference that they had between them for the last few weeks. Some say it was the guaranteed total Uh, to me, the hundred million dollars guaranteed is, is a deal for the Cowboys. So if that was the holdup, it, it was ridiculous because that should not have been an issue if that's all it was going to be. Um, so, uh, it's, it's done. CD lamb will, will be on the field, presumably, uh, September 8th against the Browns up in Cleveland and the Cowboys have their offense because make no mistake, CD lamb is their offense right now. They've got no running back room. Uh, they've got really no wide receiver help aside from CD lamb. Uh, you know, Brandon cooks, the number two, if you go look at the stats from last year to this year, Brandon cooks was so far behind CD lamb in the stats, not necessarily his fault. He was so far behind in, in targets as well, but, um, CD lamb is the offense on this team. Hopefully we can get some production out of the running back room. Ezekiel Elliott, we'd like to see 2016, 2017 Ezekiel Elliott. Not sure that's going to happen. Uh, we, we can only hope Dak Prescott now with his number one target on the field will have a repeat of his MVP type performance from last season. But it is done. C.D. Lamb is a Cowboy still, and he will be on the field presumably in week one. Uh, I would like to know what you guys think. Let me know what you think. C.D. Lamb signed too much, too little. What was the holdup? Four years, 136 with 100 million guaranteed, $38 million signing bonus. Seems like that could have been done literally months ago if they really wanted it to be. Maybe CD just didn't want to play in the preseason. Pretty sure he could have signed the deal and said, no, I'm good. I don't want to play in the preseason anyway. Probably would have happened. Find me on the X at IndyCar Tim and on Instagram at IndyCar Tim. I'm on Facebook. Welcome into FanStream Sports. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, FanStream Sports TV. Uh, and then go find us on all of the great outlets out there we'll do some more cd lamb and cowboys versus cleveland talk here coming up this week until then boys and girls we'll see you